Illustrator finally has a new tool and this one is actually pretty good. And if I told you that we now have three pen tools, you might be like, uh, why? No one knows, but this one has a very specific use case that makes it slightly different from the pen tool and the curvature tool. Let me show you. All right, so we're now in Illustrator, but we're actually in the beta. So to download this, you'll need to go to the Creative Cloud app, go to beta, and then you'll see Illustrator here. Illustrator version 29.1, download and open that up. And now you'll have access to the new pen tool, the quick pen tool. And immediately if you click and drag, you'll see that this thing likes perfect curves and circles, which of course I'm a huge fan of. So that's a plus for me. And up here, we've got like this little toolbar in the corner. And if we press one on the keyboard, we can cycle through straight lines, wibbly wobbly lines and arcs. And we can also press number two when we're doing curves to kind of flip the arc around the other way, but I'll show you that one in a minute. So what we're gonna do is go through all nine of these one by one, and I'm going to recreate them. So uh, let's press escape to get rid of that line. And let's go and select the tool again. There is meant to be a keyboard shortcut, which is shift Q, but it, it doesn't actually work, which is a bit of a fail there. The keyboard shortcut should be working. Hopefully come release, it'll be fine. It's a beta, let's all stay calm. So we're gonna start with the flame. So we're gonna do the top. And if I hold down shift now, I've noticed that maybe it's just this tool, I don't know, but it snaps to 30 and 60 instead of 45 degrees, which is uh, kind of cool, because now we could do this at a much steeper angle. And there we go, lines up. Now, rather than doing a straight line, I'm gonna press one on the keyboard to switch to the wavy tool in the middle, the wibbly wobbly tool, whatever it's called. And of course I can complete this here, but you'll see that we have these lines as well. And uh, I'll come back to those in a minute. So we've created our first shape. We have the, uh, the fiery shape that's thickened up that stroke. There we go, ta-da! Right, next we've got, uh, well, two and three are kind of similar like two halves of the yin yang symbol. So, no, wrong tool, Dan. Let's, there we go, well done. <laughs> so let's click. And you can see the smart guides nicely line everything up. And it even lines up the spacing as well. So if I hover carefully, there you go, you can see the spacing. So the width is kind of consistent, which is nice. And then I can bring that back round and we've created one half. And we could actually, if I get rid of that, use this tool to create a full circle very, very quickly. Deselect everything, find that center point. Where are you? I know you're there somewhere. And there we go. Just like that, we've created the yin yang symbol. Super, super quick and easy. Now, if I grab this again, let's go, we'll do something like this. You see these triangles, I can actually click and drag and regardless of what I actually ended up making, I can go less than, or I can actually extend beyond it. So if I didn't quite make that long enough there, I can just tweak that by extending it out, which is a really, really nice addition. If you create something like this and you think, oh, I need to close that gap a bit more. Boom, no, the gap's too tight. Let's widen it a bit. There we go. So I like that flexibility. That's really, really cool. Something else we can also do is uh, something. Anyway, so the next one, we've got this <laughs> ghosty like shape or whatever it is, and we can just click click, click. I'm holding shift here. So we get the width nice and consistent. Oops, overshot that one a bit. Oh, and this is really cool as well. If I hold down shift, it marks every 15 degrees as an increment. So I can actually dial that back down exactly where I need it. Or I could go back down by just a few degrees. So 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45. So again, that's a really nice addition to get that little bit more precision. Click. And then here I just click and it continues that all the way around and completes the shape. Okay, next up we have a spiral. No, it will start from the center, there we go. So I can now press two to flip this around the other direction, which is cool. And I'm just holding shift here. And you can see it's even marking that 45 degree angle. And this is a really quick and easy way to draw a linear spiral. And the spacing is slightly off, but you can of course do this with a bit more precision. But considering there's no other tool to create a linear spiral in Illustrator, there is a technique, but not a tool. This is a really nice addition. Okay, now we've got another wibbly wobbly shape. So we're gonna, wrong side, let's press number two and it will flip under. And then number two again, and it will flip the other way around. So that's a really nifty trick. Number two again, a little tail. 
And there we go, it's like a little, uh, I don't even know what that is. A little wibbly wobbly worm shape thing. Right, we've got another one. No, Dan, wrong tool again. Let's go back to the straight line now. And because it snaps to 30 and 60 degrees as well, it makes it very, very easy to create something like this. So kind of like a heartbeat style monitor thing. Super easy, all precise, angles are perfect, love it. Now the next one, um, I'm not entirely sure what that is. It's like a P, so we'll go with that and press one again. It's gonna go round and it won't let me connect that to that path there. So what I might do is just deselect this, grab the tool again, and hopefully it will create this as a separate piece. If I maybe do this. So that's kind of a bit too much, but now I can use the direct selection tool to get rid of that. And if I hop into outline mode and zoom in super quick, super quick, no, super close, words, ha, there we go. That uh, that looks pretty pretty good actually. I was gonna adjust it, but I, I did that pretty well first try. Well done, Dan, gold star for you. So there we go, that is number eight. And the last one, this kind of cut off crescent moon wave shark fin thing. This is the kind of shape that would be quite unpleasant to create in all honesty normally. Well, you know, you could do it to be fair, but this makes it just so much easier. So we'll create the base, press one for the curvy bit, two to flip it around, one, and then, no, that's the wrong way, two, there we go. Just like that, we've created a shark fin crescent moon curve thing. And there we go, that's the new quick pen tool and how you can use it to create nine shapes just like these.